Okay, hello there guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, MG Games and the Seeds of Fox. Uh, I've just finally reached the uh, first harvest of having uh, seasons on, and I have just been one of the grass fields and uh, one field something with the forager, this, what I mean right now. Um, I've got quite a lot of chef on uh, I did run into a bit of a problem since my last stream. Um, I had to remove a couple of production buildings so I could put a couple of others in. I, I wanted an additional greenhouse, and, uh, so I had to get rid of a building for that. And I wanted another building so I had to get rid of that. Now initially I ended up removing a bunch of a, a few more generator things uh, because I figured well they're in the production stuff so anything like selling wise, anything greenhouse wise and anything uh, generator wise all counts towards production. Right? Well no, it seems that the only things that actually count towards that production limit is the actual production stuff, greenhouses, and I'm not sure about orchards, if I'm being honest, because I was at the limit and I was able to place additional orchards. Now, may now maybe one orchard just counts, not like any orchards. I mean, so a grape orchard just count any great any amount of grape orchards just count as one, and any amount of olive groves just count as one. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I couldn't place some of that stuff down, and then obviously, um, I think I wanted some animals, and I think there was, I think the limit restricted there, so I had to remove a couple. So I did remove the one building that I said I was going to do, but I wanted to wait a bit longer for that um, because I wasn't quite at the point of being able to successfully do stuff with some of the places but we do still have the one other production place yes it can't produce road salt in fact i don't think any of the places can produce road salt now um but we'll find a way of dealing with that if we do. i don't think anything now actually requires road salt anyway because uh now that we've got rid of that building anyway um i think that was the only other building other than previous one that we lost for removing the mud, like literally just vanished. But anyway, uh, where's the sound? some here. This is something I need to start producing as well, silage additives. Uh, but there is uh, quite a bit more added since, even though I've had to remove some stuff, I've also added some stuff. Um, now I did, that also did um, run me into a bit of an issue. I uh, started to lose money quite rapidly. Um, so I've had to return a leased building for now. Uh, sorry, a leased uh, tractor, which means that one of my tools, I'm not sure what, doesn't have... I think, I've got a feeling I know what it is, it's just finding it. Uh, so if I go across to that and just for now, turn off combines, turn off uh, tip stations, load with dirt, just turn off all of that for now. Right, so this should make it easier to spot whatever is missing something. And I think... Stone picker trailer. Is it that? I mean, there's no vehicle attached to it, so it must be that. I thought it was the... Um, the, the, the ground scanner thing. That is... Uh, wait, if we had combines in as well... There should be something in the bottom of it. Yeah, at the back of that. That's the uh, trailer. And why didn't the trailer and the thingy attach show up then? 
Uh, wait, so where is... Nope. Nope. Uh, somewhere around here should be a ver it should be a black beauty oh wish there was an easier way uh not that one not that one that one there it is so yeah it's uh the one that's missing is is it essential uh stone picker i mean kind of is Right. Uh, but I know I need to do some some ground stuff here. So what I'm gonna uh, ground leveling. So what I'm gonna do is drop. Actually, no. Pick that up. Unfold it. And I need to go and s I need to scan uh, the orchards. The orchard, I need to scan the orchard area. Oh, uh, let me change, toggle the map screen to that. Right, so that should more than cover all of that. And I need to go and scan uh, the bit up here. Pretty sure it is already scanned. But right, that more than covers that. This is like, this is a mud attachment, otherwise it would be, uh, this is like the biggest version. Right, so, what I'm going to do is zoom in and I'm going to uh, put this there for now. Then I need to go down to the... Now, there's not much I can actually plant this month. Now, I have changed it to three days, but it's not going to affect until the next season. Which, when does that kick in? Next month, I think. Uh, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. Three months per season. So, yeah, it kicks in next month. Just to give me a little bit more time in case, like... You know, I end up in another tricky financial situation where I'm losing like well over a hundred grand a day. Now I figured the deductions I was getting before that I couldn't figure out what they were is productions. When I was getting stuff come out at like sometimes it would come out of like 20 past, sometimes it would come out at like half past, sometimes it would come out at like quarter two, it's that it's because I noticed that uh, when I skipped an entire uh, sorry, when I skipped like multiple days I ended up getting uh, like quite a massive deduction for productions and it was like massive amount, like with all my productions turned on, even the things that I'm not currently produced actually currently producing uh, right, so what I want to do now is this one is mostly for topping up that one and selling. Don't get much from selling. I mean, it, it really is low value, like really low value. In fact, is stone, yeah, stones. I mean, the highest value one right now is that debris crusher, which I think, I'm not even sure which one that is. It probably isn't this one right by me. That is. I'm not 
sure. I think that's the map one. I think that's the uh, default one. The one down here. That one. But it looks closer than that. Maybe not. There's definitely not one before that. There's one right next to this building. Right there. If I switch it all on. Wait, if I switch off uh, contracts. Uh, this should then indicate, what, yeah, it's that one. It's the one right, right down the bottom. It's quite a drive. For about £40 extra, is it really worth it per thousand litres? Uh, 76,000. I mean, it's not going to be much, so we'll see. Wait, what is the difference again? Uh, compared to these two, it is 40, let's just say 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Yeah, it's about 40 pound more per thousand litres. Might be worth no, for now it's fine. Uh, no, it's fine. I'll sell it this one. Eleven thousand four hundred and I do actually want to try if this is capable of spraying the uh, orchards. I mean, I've already sprayed them now, but I'm just worried it's a bit too wide. But it's quite long, so maybe I'll be able to catch it from the side, each of the sides. I wonder if I can use this to cultivate regular fields. I might give it a try actually. No, that's the mulcher. Uh, this one. So I have already mulched these. They did eventually come up. I've mulched them and cultivated them. You can see because it's uh, nice and muddy. Alright, so there should be a field just here that I've already harvested with the uh, it's the only field I have harvested because I did it with um, forager to get chaff 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 now I'm also debating whether to get rid of this uh, thing even though that kind of does produce more I'm probably going to have to take, eventually, if I want to add any more production buildings. I mean, I can seem to add more generators, and I can seem to add more selling points. But I've pretty, I think I've pretty much got most of the selling points. Yes, that will work. It does give that weird look, like it's been mulched, not cultivated. Right, let me just check on the map. Uh, where are we? There, it's coming up as stubble tillage. As if it's being mulched. But this is a cultivator. But I'm pretty sure you can seed right on top of uh, stubble tillage. I think. I'm pretty sure it, it kind of is like a variation of cultivated. I'm 
maybe I should have run the uh, mulch over first and then ran this over. And if this works, I can get rid of the little um, cultivator. If this does work without having to cultivate it, maybe I can get rid of the little cultivator. I mean, this is the smallest cultivator, technically speaking, but because of the unreal mud, and I have trimmed it down, it was at 50 metres. Everything was on 50 metres. I turned them down to 25, just so I don't, like less chance of accidentally going over to another field, especially especially with the forage harvester. But this is kind of perfect for... I mean, technically this is classed as five fields, not uh, five rows, because it's a vineyard one, not... So it might actually be more than 25 metres, but it does look roughly the same as 25 metres. I think that's what it is. I think five rows is 25 meters. Oh, crap. I'd rather miss a little bit on the inside. Now, uh, part of this field, for some reason, didn't grow yet. I'm not sure if I accident... Uh, when I saw... Uh, when I saw them miss a thin strip I I manually planted some I'm not sure if I missed the timing on it or um, if I accidentally planted the wrong thing I got a feeling more than anything I might have accidentally planted the wrong thing but I've started to come up with ideas now like there is, I think there is one thing right now, like, okay, there's more than one thing I could potentially plant, but one thing that I want to plant right now, so I, it's too late to do anything vegetable, um, you know, red beet, carrots, or parsnip ways, um, but I can do, I could do poplar if I wanted to, but I've already got one field of poplar, I could plant grass, I could plant oil zebra radish, um, Maybe I should, because that only takes one month, don't it? Um, and some of them I'm ripping down, and then, you know, canola. But I'm thinking the newest fields, the ones down here, that currently have nothing on, other than that one, uh, which I might put oil seed radish on. Uh, I'm thinking all of these... Uh, I'm not sure what that one is, why that's growing. Uh sugar beet yes I planted that um, so I think I was I think I was thinking like do all of this sugar beet and then that uh, thingy I think but I was kind of thinking maybe sugar cane on those two and then canola on those wait when can I do sugar cane uh, sugar cane, March and April. Same as sugar beet. So yeah, I think we'll just do them all as canola. And then, oh god. That then isn't harvestable until July, August. Wait, am I looking at the right one? Yes. So canola takes a long time to grow, so I've got to rethink about that. Yes, I think I will do canola on all of those fields, except for the one that is going to be um, for now. And then I'll rethink about it after that gets harvested. about where I want sugarcane. Right now sugarcane is other than like the red beet carrot that you know the DLC crops. Sugarcane is one of the only things I don't have planted right now. Well not right now because obviously certain things can only be planted at certain times.
Oh, did I just miss a bit there, or did, was it just... I feel like I missed a little bit. Because it looks so similar. I mean, obviously much shorter, but... And the same as when you mulch it, it, it looks like that, so when you're then cultivating it... But yes, I should, if I remember right, be able to... I'm pretty sure that, like this, it is kind of like just like a variation of cultivated, just like seedbed is kind of a variation. Although that's just basically rolled. So maybe if I was then to roll it. <clears throat> now, we'll check if this has produced any stones in a minute, because, I mean, it's a cultivator, it should. Right. I mean, obviously it says needs rolling, but... Right, if I take needs rolling off, no, it hasn't produced any stones. Cultivators are supposed to produce stones. Maybe because it's a vineyard one, maybe they're toned down so they don't get stones because none of the stone pickers can actually fit in those gaps. But I did notice um, that the olive groves are much thinner gaps than, uh, oh no, that definitely is canola, uh, wait, is that canola? Yeah, I think that's canola. This definitely was, wasn't canola, so I must have accidentally planted canola. Or it was sunflower. I don't remember planting sunflower on this one. Right, I can now lift that up, take that back over... Right, what I want to test... No, it couldn't have been canola. I wouldn't have, literally wouldn't have been able to plant canola. It's that, it's sunflower. But those ones aren't ready. So yes, I, I must have planted them like a month earlier. These will be ready next month. Uh, why am I going up there? Vineyards over there. But yeah, I will need a bigger, um, I will need a big cultivator, a proper cultivator at some point. I've got a small one, it should be on that field, somewhere. But if this works, I might just get rid of that small one and use this. Right, so I want to test that, so I need to find cedar that can do canola, so that'll be regular cedar, so I think, yeah, that's my regular cultivator, my small cultivator. Uh, right, canola. Oh, this is one of the tractors I need to replace as well. It's a John Deere one, isn't it? Let me just check. Yeah, John Deere. That needs replacing. Doesn't have front attachments. Actually, I haven't even checked if the other one has uh, front attachments yet. But what I'm most concerned about is, can this seed? Can we seed directly onto this? Seeds will leave an optimal.
Yes, we can. We can see directly up. Right, so while that's doing that, I'm going to go and get in... Do this field first. Now, this will technically be the first time I have uh, harvested this with this after using grass thingy. Now, I had, I had noticed that every time I had harvested this using the forage harvester, the yield was going down. So I'm hoping now that this will either stay the same or go up. It does appear to be staying the same. Now that was uh, slurried but no line. And obviously grass. Um, grassland care. Uh, the grassland care roller over it as well. I just want to try a different thing. I, I, I can't seem to figure how to get the, uh, the grass yield rate to increase. According to the thing, the, gra the grassland care roller is supposed to increase the yield, but clearly it's not. Because this was like slurry to a hundred percent, like maximum slurry. It did only use one, like not quite one tank of slurry. But now we have another source of slurry. Well, actually, two sources of slurry, I believe. Because, since last time, I mean, you might have already seen it, but we no longer have just, just, uh, chicken now. We have cows, 250 of them right now. We have, um, regular sheep, so the default, the game default ones, that produce wool. We have some German Landes pigs, now they produce slurry, but no manure. Obviously, the cows will eventually produce... Uh, they are producing slurry. Um, I could swear, Oh, I think I need to put some straw inside before they'll... Or maybe they won't produce milk at this age. Um, but for, I mean, I don't know why. I Like, the, the straw... There is straw in the, the food bit, but I topped it up purely with TMR. But there's still tons more TMR. I'll have to try. I mean, I don't... I tried to put grass and hay in there, and it wouldn't seem to take it anywhere. So I think, in terms of grass, I think... I mean, I can try hay again, but I swear I already tried going through the inside and it wouldn't take it anywhere. Maybe because of the TMR. Um, I think maybe if you go as just grass or just... I don't know, because it's like 100%, 80%, and 40%. I mean, that doesn't add it's supposed to add up to a hundred percent uh but anyway yes yeah, so after the pigs we have some dairy sheep now these are of course the dairy sheep mud um again they're at the same age as the other ones so actually they are producing sheep milk they just won't breed and they won't breed anyway because uh wait is it the dairy sheep pen one of the two sheep pens is full, 65 out of 65. The other one has some room for for for, for them to breed. Um, the pigs have room to breed. The cows have room to breed. Uh, I think the pig sty holds... I think it's 250 or 300 or something. And the pigs hold 500. Uh, sorry, the cows hold 500. So yeah, that one's 65 out of 65. The regular sheep. The... Uh, the, the the dairy sheep have room to uh, breed and then the chickens there's no room for them to breed they already have bread um, I could potentially sell some and then 
get more but yeah there is no more room to breed in unless i was to remove some roosters uh but i mean yeah as you can see with everything other than the uh i mean the pigs are looking good other than the food needs to be topped up but uh yeah i just did that with pig food that in honesty i brought it rather than producing it but i should be producing some now um they're good obviously needs uh topping up but in no rush there's still plenty for at least a few months uh and then obviously the cows i, I need to get the straw down eventually for i think they won't produce wait why are they not producing manure oh do you have to do separating now i think you have to do separating now to get manure which is obviously that is done by a production which is going to be an issue um where is it the same with like at lely sphere maximum number of productions reached because that produces it well wait yeah, you put it next to a... I think you put it next to a cow and it, it consumes... Uh, oh, wait. Combined with sulfuric acid creates liquid fertilizer. So you put it like, where the hell is the cow shed? It's over here somewhere, isn't it? Over on the other plot of land where, on the previous save, I had uh, my house. Uh, so it's this way. This way. This way there that's the cow shed so you'd put it somewhere near here like you would with the, slow, uh, the thing but we've reached the maximum number of production points the same with stationary separators right oh we can place the stationary separators Wait, where should I place this? Just need to make sure it's not. So that should be fine sort of there. And then if we put one next to the pigs, which should be up here. <coughs> um, somewhere. Is that pigs? No, that's that's chickens, isn't it? Yeah, that's chickens. Pigs should be over here by the thing. Uh, that should be coming. Oh, a bit worried about that. Maybe I try to go more there. It's going to be a, create a bit of an issue there. But I'm sure we've got enough space to still pull up by the side of that. And I might be able to level it off more. It was supposed to be all level, so I don't really know why that's happened. I mean, that bit I didn't level, and you can see what's happened there. But that's fine. Um, I don't get why I can place those down, but I can't place things... Um... Right, one thing I could think of doing then is if I look in here and just look at things. So I could get rid of one of the debris crushers, for example. Um, wrong screen. Uh, do wait, where are my pigs? Uh, the other debris crusher should be. Follow this road, follow this road. Uh, go left. Other debris crusher should be up here. There. Alright, so if I get rid of that, and then go... Where is it? Production. And if I try and find... Uh, where is it? Lelysphere. Maximum number of production points reached. I've just... Re oh no, it's a selling point, isn't it? Damn it. 
Um, uh, it's annoying. The debut crusher is a selling point, so can't get rid of that. Uh, what about farmer wholesale? No. Biomass heating point. I mean, I could. I've not actually put anything into that yet. Uh, and we've got one, like, literally there. I mean, it's literally the same. So I could just get rid of this one and buy that one if I can. Right, that should now give me... Oh, but is that a production point version? Um... Right, Lady Sphere, maximum number of production points reached. <sighs> um... Also, like, what is that cleaning tiger? Oh, we can place that. And that's a production. I don't get that. I don't get why I can place that one, but not that one. Oh, God. What can I remove for that? Um... Maybe if I get rid of one of those. Maximum number of production points reached. Okay, so those don't individually class as one. Uh, can't really get rid of that. Already got rid of that. Um, I could get rid of one of the stone things. I think... Uh, Right, what have we got over here that we could technically get rid of? Um, dairy. I don't think there is a dairy place. Carpentry. Carpentry. I think there is a carpentry place. Um, let's look. Uh, armoire. No. Uh... Furniture. Nope. Planks. Right, yes, there is another carpentry place somewhere. Unless that was a shop. If that was a shop, then it's a completely different matter. Where am I going? It's not that way. It's this way. Right, I just need to check I haven't accidentally placed two down myself. So, which one was it? That one. Right, grain mill, spinnery, sugar mill, tailor shop. That's preserved food factory. Again, I could get rid of it because there is one within the map. Uh, oil mill, cereal factory, shop, grocery store, and great processing unit. So... Right, get rid of that. Um rid of this dairy place and then add in another dairy place but not there <clears throat> right this should be there's two there's two or three different variations of like official ones for this um, and you can see this one is again quite different again Overlaps with another object. Uh, this one uh, overlaps with an object. Okay, we can place it there though. Pull it back a bit. Now that's kind of messed with all that. Right. Uh, Lely Sphere, placed next to a husbandry. I wonder if it matters which ones overlaps. Place next to a husbandry. It, it does specifically say from a cow shed, though. So, 
Oh wait, that is a cow shed, isn't it? Um, let me try it next to... But why would it have worked? If it specifically say, say, states cow shed, why would it have worked? Why would it work next to that, which is a chicken thing? Why would it work by this? Which is dead. I mean, I suppose that is technically within range of the pigs, but why would it also work in range of the pigs? It literally states from a cow shed. But it just, when you're placing it, it just says by a husbandry. I mean, it doesn't even say animal husbandry. It literally just says husbandry. Right, so if we place this sort of overlaps with another object. Right, so if we place that sort of there. <coughs> there we go. Right, and as you can see, that is full of grass. Uh, is that grass or hay? One of the two. Um, straw and silage. And then also, I never noticed this before, but there is a mineral feed sign there. But the place doesn't actually say it takes mineral feed. But I've put, I don't know, about roughly about 50,000-ish in there. So we'll see what happens with that. But the only place I could actually see inside, despite the fact that is there is serious various drop points. I mean, you've got one there. Uh, sorry, no. You've got one there. And then that is a pickup point. And then there's a drop point there. I figured maybe that one is the thing. But I think that is just another place to drop off. Um, oh, can't go inside. I think that is just another place to drop off TMR. I can't find a place to drop off straw or grass. Uh, sorry, hay or grass inside or straw. So I think that's kind of playing up. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, I want to see like what class as and what doesn't class as. Because as we've seen, some things for some reason don't seem to class as a production point. What about mine shaft? Not enough money. It's not saying... It's just saying not enough money. And we don't have a regular mine shaft, but I'm not currently worried about mine shafts, mine metal stuff yet. Um, again, that says not enough money. Maximum number of points. Art accessories. I haven't actually done art accessories, but can't do that. Shingle factory. Maximum number of... That's kind of annoying. Wood Mitza LT15. Put in wood and you get out. Much more. Bakery. Again, maximum number of dairy. That one states not enough money. Spinnery. Okay, that one seems to be fine. Stationary separator. Wait, I've already put the two down, have I? And I'm pretty sure that the um, the sheep and... Uh, yeah. I know that... Yeah, they don't produce... Right, they have got straw... Alright, we'll see what happens. That has kind of put me way, 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 way short on what I need. But hopefully, I'm now back to the point of producing enough. Because obviously I've just got rid of some points. It will mean I have to drive further for certain stuff, but that's fine. That is another reason why having, say, a sell everything container is good. Because at least then, if I've got, like, the production thing down, 
or if I can produce something, but I haven't got enough space for the thing that needs to produce that it needs to produce further. It should just be fine. Right, I am also thinking about like straightening up these, the squaring off this uh, these grass fields. Yes, I'll get less grass from it, but. It's just like, when it comes to, um, when it comes to, um, right, I need to keep an eye on that money as well, because I think I am still technically losing a little bit of money. I think that, but then again, we have just removed some production, so we might be fine. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to uh, using the windrower, it can be quite awkward on this side, on this field as it is. I mean, it's virtually untouched in terms of like straightening it up. I've got neat, as you can see when I started it, I did sort of like slightly neaten up some of the edges, but not quite perfect. Obviously, that side I can't really do much about because it's too close to the buildings and it says land, you know, land, you know, it's too close to the buildings more than any, uh, I think it's too close to the buildings more than it is, like, the land is not technically mine because that bit of road is within this, this land. So we need um, Oh, I'm gonna need to check on this. It looked like they're done, but they're clearly not. Hey oh, worker has completed their task, have you? Have you? Because I see a tiny little bit somewhere here missed. Am I going to be able to capture that? That didn't cover it. Uh, there always seems to be a little dot, which is just like so hard to see. No, that that will not seem to cover. They've missed bits there. Oh, so much from being done. They've gone up there a little bit, but then stopped. I just don't get why they miss so um, like this. Uh, like one thing that really really needs improving for the next farm sim whether it's 25 or 26 needs to be the AI workers you need to if you leave if you hire them to do some work you expect them to fucking finish the work properly a hundred percent not leave patches here and patches there and dots here and dots there that can't seem to be bloody covered Ooh, why is there a little bit there that's, uh, that needs straightening up? Oh, I know what that's from. Uh, the thingy that was sticking out of the other one of them. The thingy, it took a little, it took a little bit out. It was, uh, even that one, if I was to lift that, it would probably slightly affect that because, as you can see, it, it, it kind of goes underground. It's, it actually comes out to about there, lengthwise. Kind of 
kind of looks weird like that. I wonder if then technically that's where you want to run a weeder over it, maybe? To rip up that stuff? I don't know. I know something is supposed to... There's something that is supposed to change that status, like remove that. Look. Is that my new uh, pad? Wow, so much for six days. New SIM card's come already. <laughs> Although I shouldn't technically activate it just yet. But I do need to do it before, I mean, my other SIM, uh, tomorrow, is it tomorrow or the day after? 23rd or 24th? I don't mind if it's just a couple of days extra. Because, uh, right, bear with, oh no, I need to find, um, shit, be right back. Not, it's not the proper pin I was looking for, but one of these will do the job. Wow, phone's charged already? And it literally died. It's the first time my phone has like actually fully died. Uh, where the hell's the SIM card? Tray. There. I knew that would work. I'm still going to need it again for in uh, a day. What I'm going to do is switch this sim into sim 2. And then the new sim can go into sim 1. Oh god, which way? Oh yeah, upside down. Oh fuck. No, I don't want the mini. Midi. I want the mini. Sorry, micro. Do I need to break that one down further? No. Uh, they, they, they did actually ask me if I wanted an eSIM, and I said, nah. I've not tried an eSIM yet. I don't trust them yet. They're too... I know they have been a while, because this phone can take one. My old phone, my old Samsung, uh, my old S21, that could take them. Uh... Right, now the problem here is going to be, uh, shit, I forgot how to do this. Um, <clears throat> sim 2, sim 1, unknown number. Add eSIM. Download an eSIM so you can connect to mobile networks without a physical SIM card. Uh, I, I just don't trust them yet. Um... Right, how the hell do I activate this? Uh, right, let me just... Right, my Sky... It's got the activation code, it's just not saying actually how to activate it. Uh, right, mobile... There should technically be two things here now. Uh, piggy bank, 568, device, you have a swap update. 
I shouldn't be eligible. I mean, they literally told me yesterday, I, like, I would literally have to pay like 700 and odd quid if I wanted to swap. Want to keep your old device. Like, even sending back the new one. Like, literally swapping. I would still have to pay like 700 and odd quid. Your mobile bill. Bill total. What? Why is the bill total that much? Oh, is it already calculated? Huh? It shouldn't be that much. Let me look at the previous bill. <sighs> no, that is less. Future. Hmm. It's not saying how to actually activate it. Activate your sim, go to sky.com forward slash sim. Sky.com forward slash sim. Like it says, there's things I'm going to need to do, so I'm pretty sure the other one gets deactivated. Uh, I think it's tomorrow. I think. Success. But I haven't typed in the code yet. Is the page still loading? Sign into your Sky account. It just said success. <sighs> oh crap. Uh, let's hope the auto password is correct. Right, select sim type, uh, activate new sim, activate replacement sim. No, technically it's a new sim, because I'm getting a new sim. If I click replacement sim, it'll just give me the same number, and then it'll expire tomorrow. <laughs> activate sim, Emma new. Activate Emma, Emma new. Alright, activate sim. There was a bit worried, like, in case it didn't come in time and I'd lose my uh, piggy bank, so I've got, like, 500 gigabytes of uh, data. Uh, I'd like a new number. <clears throat> um, no, not now. Sky activation code. Uh... X7. Do you have a stack for you and want to cancel your odd number? No, because it's getting cancelled. Uh, don't have your stack or don't want to stack? No, and activate it without it today. You'll be able to cancel it. And yeah, my that seems the other Emma is getting cancelled tomorrow anyway. Or the day after. Alright, so now if I go to mobile, I can see 5 gigabytes remaining. Roll your data. <laughs> Let's roll a bunch of data into that. I've got, like I said, I've got like 500 gigabytes. Choose a sim to roll your data. Cho wait, choose a sim. Uh, Emma New. Ooh, 5 gig. Roll data. 568.13 gigabytes saved. <laughs> oh, roll more data. Emma New. 5 gig. You can only transfer 5 bloody gig at a time. Um, I mean, I'm not going to need that much. It's it's still like 50 gig. I guess it's just lower at the minute because it's like... Phone offers. Apple offer. Get £40 off any handset. Apple, Apple handset when you cash in £120. £40 off. Wow. 
devices off. I get £25 off any handset when you cash. Oh, so the cash in value has actually massively increased. It's probably because of people like me, they've got these like massive amounts saved. But the problem is, like, like when I ordered this new SIM, I was like, oh, I just want the same. They, they was like, oh, what, uh, what, what tariff do you want? And I was like, just the same. And they was like, oh, well, we can't because we don't do 100 gig anymore. And I was like, what? You don't do 100 gig anymore? Okay, what do you do? And they was like, oh, we only do uh, 50 gig and 150 gig. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, how much is 150 gig? Extra 50 gig. And they told me, and I was like, mm, okay, maybe. And then I like, got right to the point of they was like, are you sure? And I was like, hmm, hmm. Because there was like, we can't really give you an offer on the the 150 gig one, but they could give me an offer on the 50 gig one, uh, which would reduce it by like quite a bit more. So yeah, my, my bill's going, I, there's going to be a little bit of overlap now where I'm going to have to pay like a little bit extra, but I'm fine with that. I mean, it's not going to be like massive amounts, right? Configuration message, install. Wait, pin? Incorrect pin? Incorrect pin? Oh, it's automatically done it anyway. Your mobile is now configured for MMS, GPRS, and internet browsing GPRS. But we don't use GPRS or anymore. We use well, I suppose it technically is. That's what the G is, isn't it? In G, five G, four G, three G, two G, GPS, GP, GPRS, whatever. Right. Um. One. I'm. I'm gonna have to. There's things I'm gonna have to update my number on that I know I need for logging in and stuff verification and such I, I can do it i'm not in a rush to do all that right now right uh right let me just quickly have a look at right your sim let me just see i know i've rolled i don't know about 15 gig not that i'm gonna need that but i mean i've literally got like nearly 100 like 90 yeah i've got Wait, why is it saying 20 gig? Maybe because it's only like a couple of days. So it only gave me a little bit. Allowance refreshes in three days. So I've literally got like three days to use 90 odd gig. I might as well... Uh, right, what I might as well do is switch off Wi-Fi and just use... Use data... I might as well, right? Uh, right, close that, close that, close that, close that, close... Oh! Uh, okay. Right, let me go into settings. Um, sim manager. Oh, shit. Ultra wide band. Yes, I want that on. Sim manager. I just want to make sure right now it is prioritizing sim to... Yeah, sim 1 is not fully activated yet, but... I think I have to re reset my phone for it to. Right, so if I go, uh, no, it's not settings, is it? I need to extend that, click that, restart, restart. Right. Where am I? What am I doing? Um, Right now, hopefully, when I restart, that will. Finish setting up the sim correctly. It can technically take. A while. Wait, what the hell is. Damn. Oh. Okay, before I do any more, I'm going to finish this strip and then. Run over to the workshop. And to the garage. Uh, I don't actually have a fuel tank anywhere near. Uh, maybe I should get one. Uh, container. Uh, just go for the default ones. That one will do. And place that like... Uh, 
the heck? And then, <clears throat> right, I'm probably not going to be able to afford that much fuel, but... Right, let me just uh, lift this up all over here, up to the side of this. Oh, I can buy 25,000 litres. That's going to take a while to fill. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Right, I'm now seeing... Vol... LTE1, LTE2... Signal is identical on both. 5G. So that should have activated now, then, if it's uh, showing the signal bar. Right, SIM. SIM manager. Yep, there's my new one. Uh, Hi Demo. Yeah, just a uh, new number. My other one's getting cancelled in like tomorrow or the day after, so delete the other number and re yeah, just replace the number with this one. It's you know how I said I I had issues with one of my SIM cards ages ago and I couldn't figure out which one it was. I finally yeah, and I thought it was the O2 SIM or the 3 SIM. It turns out it was the it was the Sky Mobile one. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, just just updated that, and uh, hopefully this one works properly now. But um, yeah, this one's not quite as good, but cheaper. So, and it's only it's only fifty gig, not a hundred gig. But they don't do a hundred gig anymore. I mean, I could have technically got a hundred and fifty gig, but it would have been more expensive. And they they actually offered me a deal on the fifty gig, so it was even cheaper. <laughs> so it's like half the price of what I was going to be what I was paying but uh yeah there's going to be some no I don't I don't have any other phones I've only changed unless you want to play what what did they say the the payoff on this phone was 700 and odd quid <laughs> yeah because it's a 20 it's it's technically paid off over like 24 months isn't it so like the the main sim is is like twelve months, but it goes it goes cheaper after the first twelve months, and but not anymore obviously because I've just changed sims so now it's going to slightly overlap. But I thought that was good because like they said that like the there was there's a bit of an issue with like like technically the 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 phone started charging like slightly more slightly earlier or slightly after the uh, actual tariff. So that's why I get a few little weird issues, but uh, I would say just go somewhere like CEX or take out a contract. I mean, take out a cheap, cheap contract or something. I mean, you might be. Give them a call, find out. But I would look at all your options everywhere because like I said, Sky, some brilliant deals on Sky lately. For mobile. Yeah. That's what I mean. I'm like, that's why I've just stayed with Sky Mobile for this one because I'm with Sky, and that's the thing. Right? If it, you, your parents are with Sky, aren't they? And you live in, you still live there. Yeah. If neither of them are on Sky Mobile, you'll get a discount. Yeah. As, as long as they've got uh, Sky VIP, and if they haven't, just sign up for it. It's it. 
like, you don't have to pay anything for Sky VIP. It is free. As long as some... Well, yeah. Just, but I don't know if, like, if one... If whoever... Na whoever's name it in would have to do it. But you could just say, you know, you live with someone who's in there and you essentially just get it added onto that, essentially. But it would be billed to you, essentially. There should be a way of doing that. Or... You know, have whoever it is that pays the main bill take it out, but you pay them. Sort of like he was going to do with me with uh, the one a while ago, but we didn't end up doing that in the end. But yeah. Oh yeah, there's going to be some more news coming soon about more retained and released players, but uh, apparently Jordan Amissa is also getting released. That's just like, why the hell are we keeping Adam Davis? Yeah, you know, why are we keeping Adam Davis and letting go of Jordan Amissa? No, it makes absolutely no sense. I, apparently, we're, we're going to miss out on our primary goalkeeper target, but we are willing to sell um, Ivo. Yeah, we're looking to sell Ivo. Only if we can get at least what we paid for him back. The same with a couple of other players, like we're apparently open to selling Koulibaly now as well. Um, basically most of the foreign players are transfer listed. So I don't know if that's just Wilder going back to his uh, British primary thing. Uh, if he's going back to his more British focus or if he's just looking to... I can't believe he hasn't given like Koulibaly or... Traore or whatever a chance though like I can't believe Traore like Traore probably yeah okay he struggled in the Prem but and then we sent him out on loan and he struggled there but he might be good in the championship yeah he just like struggled like most of our strikers strength wise more than anything but strength isn't I mean okay when you're going up against tough defenders like Van Dijk and that yeah you need tough strikers but in the championship it's not going to be quite as bad but I'm not like I'm hearing us being linked with lots of players and lots and lots of players but um, including some that we have already been linked to there's rumours we're going to try and sign what's his name because he's apparently on a free but we've loaned in I hope not I don't want him back do not want him back <laughs> huh yeah, Holgate. I do not want Holgate back. But I can't believe we're letting go of a misser. I hope that's just bullshit because it's not confirmed. It's just, it was just from a thing that said, "Oh, we're we're open to selling." But apparently, it said we are releasing. But he wasn't on the official re release list. Like the early one. And he's not, it, it said youngster, and he's not technically a youngster. He's like 23 or 24 now. That's not a youngster. I mean, up to, tw yeah. He just needs experience, and I think that's the reason we're not, like, yeah. We should, like, at least second choice. Because otherwise, we're going to, like, uh, Davis just isn't good enough to be second choice. Like, why do you think we like? Okay, yes, he was in, the, in that last match, but you get it. Like, yes, Gribich did concede quite a lot of goals, but when you compare the statistics to Wes Fodderingham, he did concede way less on average than Fodderingham did, and yet Fodderingham got tons of praise for not conceding many goals. What? He conceded way more on average than like. I mean, his save average was pretty good. But that was about it. Like, he did concede tons of goals, but yes, his saves, like, his expected goals against was better than Gribich's. But we knew that anyway, because Gribich did concede quite a lot of, at Sevilla, and we still signed him anyway. <laughs> so, whatever. But, uh, yeah, what do you think? Under-21s into the playoff final? Yeah. Yeah, for second seat... Second season in a row. Second or third season in a row we've reached the playoff final. There is no leg. It's final. 
We played the se we played the semi final. We played the semi final. Won that four one, I think it was. And we go up against Birmingham, who we last played uh, with one one each this season. They finished third. We finished first. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, we we the last time we played them in a playoff final was three or four years ago, and we did lose against them. But it's it's under twenty ones. It's not it's not like it's going to win us promotion. Like promotion is not it's not by winning playoffs or winning the league because you know we've won it a few times now and it's not that it's it's depending on the quality of the facilities. Like in FM, it, like it's the same in FM. Like you don't just it depends on like certain level of facilities and stuff. But oh, fingers crossed, we find fingers crossed owner finally sells up this year <laughs> like it's nothing bad against him but like I mean okay yes in championship it might be might be fine yeah it might be fine in the cha it might be fine in the championship but if we're gonna be aiming for promotion again and he knows he knows full well that he cannot afford to run the club in the premiership like, he loves the club he does love the club, and that's why he wanted to sell because he knew he couldn't afford to give us a good run in the prem. But the thing is, with the money you get from the prem, we should be given a better good. But oh, what do you think about us anyway? Immediately bottom of the league. <laughs> negative, negative two points. With a potential for a further two point production. It's because of the money you owe to Liver the money we owe to Liverpool and the missed payment to Liverpool for Rian Brewster. But we did pay them and we renegoti we renegotiated the deal. That's why I don't get why we've even got this point deduction, because the deal was renegotiated and we did make the payment. Yes it was late, but we did make it. Like you don't see yeah, you don't see you don't see the likes of Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal, Man City. Well, actually, we'll see about Man City soon. But <laughs> yeah, they might be, apparently they could be deducted, deducted so many points they could be double relegated. I mean, what would happen if they was to be dub, re, double relegated? Would they still get Champions League? Champions League in League One, or even if they did get like suffer like one relegation and immediately have so many points that they, even if they won every game, they would still get relegated. <laughs> it's, uh, but you don't see it happening. It's Man City. Then their their lawyers, they pay too much for their lawyers to not get away with it or not get a minor punishment. But uh, yeah, I'm streaming on uh, Twitch at the minute, playing some uh, farm sim. Playing some farm sim, <laughs> farming simulator. <laughs> um, yeah, plenty to stream right now, but get shit. <laughs> Come up any day. You love coffee, don't you? You love coffee, don't you? I've got tons of coffee right now. Where, um, I mean, you can't have my uh, caramel ones, but you can have some of my regular ones. They're, uh, I mean, you can't take them, but you can have some of them when you come up here. Maybe, maybe you can have one box, but uh, yeah, you know the like um, uh, the the sachets. They only, they only cost like one pound. They only cost like one fifty or something for like for like ten, ten. Yeah, my coffee ones, but um, the ones I've got because I've been getting my orders from. Uh,
he said. I don't miss the uh, mess. I mean, I'm still picking up the I'm still checking. Either. I'm still picking up bits. I do need to order some, but order some. It's Wednesday. When if I if if my time tomorrow, I try that. And I've still got some. I've still got some scattered about here. Uh, I need some new ones. Still got some scattered about here and there. Okay. In a minute, like I'm not uh, even in a mad rush. Right And food ones. So I said, come up for the whole day if you want. Day, night, whatever. It's a whole day, night, whatever. I've got food. <laughs> Plenty of food. Hold on. Uh, let me call you back on uh, Google. What did you think? Nothing, uh, yeah, I've got nothing snack wise. I don't, I don't have anything like that. I don't have any pot. I mean, I do have some pot. Got the coffee. Yeah. I've got the coffee and I've got milk powder. I've got sugar. Plenty of sugar. Plenty of milk powder. <laughs> Maybe bring a cup up for yourself if you want your own. Do come up and have something to eat off of them. Because I need to get some plates and things. Anyway, let's get back to the stream. Alright. Yeah, so just delete, just, just replace this, repli uh, delete my old number and put this one in its place. Because it'll be getting removed. I think it's tomorrow or the it's either the 23rd or 24th, but it is being cancelled. I mean, I'm lucky it came today. I only ordered the sim yesterday, but they said it's six days, and you know real mail. You want double, you want double what they say normally. <laughs> Not expected. Yeah, anyway, I'll get back to my show. 
Okay, that call went on a bit longer than uh, uh, planned, but uh, let's get back to this right. So, let's go and repair this uh, truck. Is this one of the ones I want to replace? I can't afford to yet anyway, so it doesn't particularly matter. Uh... Oh, shit, too far. Out in range. Uh, right, repair. Whoa. That needed repairing more than anything. Look at the repaint costs though. 91 grand, 91 and a half grand to repaint that. I mean, okay, it was like 500 grand, but that's a fifth of the cost to repaint it. It's to really cost that much to repaint? That's ridiculous. Um, as you saw, like the 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 damage on the tractor actually wasn't quite that bad, but it was still bloody expensive. It's just, like unrealistically expensive. So, like, all right, let's get them going. By... Hopefully, they finish that one properly now. What I need is harvester. Oh wait, no. Uh, still got stuff to do here. I want the. Uh, I know what I'm looking for. This again. I wanted a better windrower. This one will do, but I did want a better one. There's anything you see. Not great sometimes. And especially when it comes to like this edge, right? So I think what I'm going to try and do is edge this round a bit more. And then circle around. Do this one straight. And try and do the rest of them. I mean, there'll be so much I won't be able to do like fully straight without overlapping that bit. But that's why I was thinking of squaring this field off, even if it means losing 50% of the harvest. Because to square it off, it would really trim down. But I might not square it off. I might bring it back a bit because doink. <laughs> Didn't really want to do this. And again, doink. Why did that just get like pushed back? Kind of like glitched backwards. Right, and so I want to start trying to straighten this up and then. I mean, I guess I could. Do it like that. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't roll it, did I? Oh, shit. That's what I needed to do. It's going to be screwed. Screw it. 
I'll ignore the rolling for this harvest. It's probably going to... The yield is probably going to go down slightly, but... Fingers crossed, not too much. Oh, crap. I'm sure it's only like 5% for rolling it. <clears throat> Wait, what? Oh, it turned off when I switched machine. It already was lowered. Oh, I need to sort of angle out a bit more, otherwise it's going to miss a bit. So, I think, like, production-wise, I do have, like, pretty much ev like, not everything, everything I'm going to need long-term, but I think, like, a large majority of what, uh, should be able to produce the majority of everything now. But this is why I've added three days now, so that I've got, like, I still think, like, two days, even though, like, there's a bit less to be done on certain things. I think, like, some things you still kind of end up, like, in a bit of a rush. Oh, no. Spacing. I'm seeing in their fucking spacing. As I said to me, can't have any of the caramel because don't have much of it. Oh, you know what I need to do? Yeah, one thing turned off up there, but that's because I don't need it on. Um, yeah, butter, cheese, chocolate, liquid fertilizer. Hmm. Oh, wait, also, uh, distribute, 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 distribute. And all of them are undistributed. Now, what I could do for any needing any more things is all these slurry pits. They don't, I mean, I think once I've, yeah, it's kind of hard. Like, not knowing when they're empty, like, I mean, okay, they didn't cost to produce, so. And, uh, obviously the pigs are going to be, uh, producing, uh, slurry and manure, uh, slurry. I think they do produce manure as well, but it didn't seem manure. I mean, maybe it will be dumped off there somewhere. But maybe that's what why they've added the station we separated now, so like you do that from slurry instead. And then you sell off the you can sell or use. But am I gonna like have to buy sulfuric acid? Is that going to be like a, you have to. I guess it depends on how much it costs. Especially if it's only going to come in like thousand litres at a time or whatever. I could probably buy it from one of the buying stations. So I guess I'll probably need a tanker, but maybe one of the vans will do it. 
maybe. It's whether they'll actually work at the uh, station, though, at the drop-off point. But I think there is actually a... I think there's a mod that allows you to buy sulfuric acid uh, and store it like uh, you can with meat. Uh, I think it does the same with methane as well. So you could like buy it in a tank in like certain amounts. What I had you lifted that. <clears throat> right. Should be one more strip to do. I can't believe I forgot to roll it. Did I roll it? I mean, looking at the ground, I would say no. I know I rolled it earlier, though. I know I rolled it earlier. <sighs> Shit. I can't believe I forgot that. Oh yeah, I brought a little bit more land as well since the uh, last stream. A little bit. Uh, it looks like virtually the same land -wise. But yeah, there was the one field at the bottom in the new area that, that I connected up to make like, one big cotton field. And uh, I, I guess I kind of did make a step mistake when I originally bought that cotton field because I brought it and it was cotton on it. And obviously at the time, I didn't have the uh, equipment to collect it. Now, I still don't have a cotton... Oh, that's going to be an issue. But at least I haven't planted it yet. It's, uh, I've got time. There's the fucking hole. Right there. Right, so now I need... Um, Probably because it's undistributed. I mean, I've got the harvester, but just not the. Uh... Hey, how that beeps up before you even get to. Oh, I do have a um, bale collecting thing, but I'm not sure if it will work for cotton bales. And obviously I am still getting cotton, just not in bale form, and I will need that. No, I don't think I need it as bale form. Pretty sure it still connects ordinarily, like, or, like, normally. Cool weather just like sweating. Why did that still miss a bit that I just wrote, just drove straight up centrally over? I wish there was more options like this. Uh, do you have to see like a liftable bales version of this? Right now there isn't one. The bales should be fucking lifted. Grass bales are carrier. People like literally, like in reality, most of the things you literally lift them off of the when it's coming out. You literally lift it off, turn, move it to place it down. 
whether it is something that is actually realistically carryable. But yet, according to this game, nope, not carryable at all. And what's this letter from Skype? Is it just the, the contract? I'm presuming it would just be the contract. Statement. Please ensure your next payment no later than 1st of June. 1st of June? Uh, no. <clears throat> Maybe a bit later than that, I think. Oh, maybe earlier. It depends on what I've got on my payment plan. I wish I could get the AO workers to do this. And roll a bloody smoke. Right, there's a few little bits I might have to sweep up after, but... I guess it depends how short of a bail I am. Like last time I was a good like 15-ish percent short, but there, there was only like tiny. Yeah. 
Thank you. 